Hi there, energies of Libra. This is Kim with your Lionsgate portal reading. Um, these have been interesting messages for the other signs, so I'm really excited to see what is going to come out for your signs, as I love my uh, Libras. I do. Um, okay, so we're going to pull from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts, and um, let's see what comes out. Yeah, my closest friend, like, ever, and looking back in my lifetimes have been, or lifetime, sorry, not times, have been uh, Libras. So, Libras tend to make good friends for me. Um, so, what can we expect Lionsgate Portal to bring in for our signs of Libra? <clears throat> If you need confirmation, one, that you are at the right place, then here you go, tarot reader, tarot card reader. Maybe that's the uh, information you're looking for. You could find through a reader, if not me, somebody else. Um, so I have healer, teacher, guidance, spiritual knowledge. And um, this might be about also you sharing your spiritual knowledge, you know, with the others, with that tarot card reader. Oh, we have a major completion. I love the number 10. Of course, in tarot, 10s are... Well, they're big, right, when you get them. So you've got Ascension number 10. Don't ask me exactly what all those mean, um, but it's your message, so I'm going to pass it. It says Nirvana Plane, 12-strand DNA and teleportation. I'll read that again. 10, Ascension number 10, Nirvana Plane, 12-strand DNA and teleportation. <laughs> Hey, we have Ascension for real. <laughs> we have 9 and 10. Ascension number 9. Buddha plane. Spirit determines everything. Ascension number 9. So we have completions, but we also have whatever uh, number, nine, number 9 actually came out first. There may be some kind of like harvest too. And then, you know, that butterfly, the way that they drew it, it has an X, like a 10 two so i like that let me move this down a little bit there we go okay anything else for libra sorry about that shit again it's going to take a minute to anything else for the sign of libra shaman Okay, Shaman, I have Natural Healer, Soul Retrieval, Earth Magic. You have Healer right here too with the Tarot Card Reader. So Healer or Homeopathic is coming out. Um, and I look, Portal Keeper, 3D to 5D <laughs> Ascension Fulfillment. And it is appropriate for the Lionsgate Portal to, to come out. Portal, that you are a Portal Keeper. So you should experience a lot of strong activation and um, fast movement towards something something you're definitely ascending anything else anything else number five wants to come out hmm change major life path number five the three spirit um we have a fifth house possibly two in leo uh ruling planet is mercury your communication mercury AKA rainbow children on the bottom, a uh, rainbow child or indigo child, Delta generation born between 1988 and 1998. So, this is what I got, the free spirit. You are learning uh, more about your free spirit or how to have a free spirit, how to keep your spirit free, um, how to live as a free spirit. Okay, could even be talking about some kind of like quantum um, jumping with that teleportation. I always think of consciously. I think of something being done consciously first, like in, the, in conscious in your in your mind first. Okay, what else do we have for you? What else do we have for you? Sign of Libra. The butterfly and balance too. 
change and completion and balance. Balance being brought in. As I say, this sacred ripples is not wanting to put out anything, but here we go. All right, I have sacred full number 40. Sacred full and 26. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Um, to me, this is really about stepping into your fullest potential here. Um, yeah, this person's about to, it looks like they're about to ascend to like light body energy. Um, the sacred fool having fun, um, a new beginning, something, something, doing something for fun. Um, yeah, maybe no one is gonna, is able to use you as a puppet. And so that's why this puppet has come out as like, well, this person's just dressing up and... <laughs> they're playing like they're the ones that are controlling the strings and so nobody controls you like a puppet is the message which i'm sure you get that anyway loud and clear but fourteen you're going beyond normal mm-hmm yeah, when you release the hold of darkness, you step into your purpose, into your cause, into your um, plan, into probably more light body, higher vibration. I see all the buttons. I love this because it always reminds me of my grandma. She uh, um, had these big tins full of just different kinds of buttons, and I loved them. I loved going through them. Um, so going beyond normal going beyond normal there's something that you do exceptionally well going beyond normal Havana phase this doesn't this look like the t like this says 12 strand strand dna and then you have all these little strands of light like circling the person that seems interesting this person has a clock they're looking at it they're looking at the clock um I have 16, what you want wants you. What you want wants you. That's why it's um, it's felt as a desire is because a desire is something that's on its way to you too. That's how you feel it, so strong. And just know that what you want wants you. Feels like this is, because it's right underneath the portal keeper. It feels like something that you've been wanting to manifest, um, especially with that spiral, is gonna be manifested. Um, along with a lot of pearls of wisdom what you want wants you what you want wants you okay let's do let's do another one let's do one more for or three more <laughs> let's do three more for uh, libras all right, Libra, look, I have diving for light. Oh, goodness. This is, um, that's why it says relax the hold of darkness. It could be that the reason you're in the place that you're at, even if you feel like somehow you're searching and you keep finding darkness and maybe more darkness, you know, it's, you're looking for the light that's there because it's always there. Um, and I would say that if you get this card, then whatever is around you is extremely emotional. There's even a predatory nature with this card, uh, with the seahorses. So, I don't know, it's like trying to find the light. And, and then it's no surprise that it says relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. There, you may need some kind of like relief from all of this because you may be feeling like you're focused too much on the dark not enough on your light yeah that's it that's it major heart opening too here um free from judgment free to love uh, this is this is coming across to me as other people uh, envious jealousy envy um but you're taking that energy from that color green there the green envy and turning it into your power um heart opening meaning um easy for you to have compassion 
uh, and understanding that other people have different um, circumstances or just really open and having compassion towards even things that you have no experience with. All right. So, yeah. I mean, and it might be hard to hear whatever this is. You're diving for light. Now, so this was in the reverse. And what I was saying was before, like right before that was a need to focus on the light. Um, more so than the darkness because the darkness can become overwhelming. I don't know if this is coming to you in the form of depression or feeling pressure, feeling a lot of pressure um, and some and some unknowns with like a predatory feel to it. I don't know. I hope not. Gee, it just sounds um, kind of crazy. So focus on the light is you being in the spotlight for something. Um or something that you do uh, metaphorically, it's telling you to definitely be focusing on your light. So I feel like this is a really good, this is a really good reading for you. Let's do, um, let's do some tarot. Use the spacious tarot and we'll see what else wants to come in um, for each of these. Like let's, talk about how to find some kind of light right how to find this light how do they find this light what are you trying to suggest what advice do you give to Libra hmm. six of swords in the reverse and the explorer of swords in the reverse well sometimes that's revisiting a situation but it's 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 something that's um taking your focus and something that's not changing the thinking has to change there's like a, a do, doing something different than you've done the last time like that hasn't changed you like re repeated or made the same decision and it has to do with something not changing though Page of Wands, new, passionate, beginning, eight of swords. Could be coming out of feeling like you're restricted or bound um, to a certain energy for whatever reason. I have the Empress here with this good news card. That's really good. So whatever it is that you're creating is going to be very fruitful, multiply. Um, it's like trying to find light. This Empress is like the one trying to create in a time of um society like darkness in a time of darkness it's what i'm getting but it's very fertile and very um there's something that's going to be created from it so what's not changing with the explorer of swords in the reverse you not listening to your own intuition is what's not changing <laughs> especially when it comes to being selfish or choosing things that are bad for a seven of cups, like um, things that impair the way that we think. Now, this could be a darkness. It, it could be like medicine, pills, uh, alcohol, like in, in just a way that is causing confusion instead of helping. Um, there's selfishness. There's picking those things that... Um, clearly are not the right choice <laughs> and so needing to choose wisely is kind of like the name of the game with that card so okay so that's what I got on that the many choices many options um, perhaps you're dealing with a Gemini or Scorpio Gemini's pretty strong energy out here um, okay, so how would we release it would be to choose wisely um, using your pearls of wisdom from the past. That's to know what to choose, right? Take care of yourself um, and accept help and guidance from your spirit team, I feel like. Do your research, especially when it comes to laying down the groundwork for 
the guardian of cups energy. That's you being like very warm, compassionate, loving, open towards others, but you're releasing any darkness definitely by um, letting in that love and light into yourself by taking really good care of yourself. And you're laying down the groundwork for receiving more. Um, that's what I'm getting with this. And especially with the, you know, how you're eating, how you're exercising or something like that. You're taking really good care of yourself, I think. Yeah. Um, working well with others too, wanting to collaborate or being open to working in a team because of that, being able to help you, um, release some of this darkness. Five of Pentacle is coming out on top of the child wants because this is a great new idea that you have. It's something above normal. And when you address it, you get out of this, uh, five of Pentacle energy, which is a feeling of lack, feeling like something's missing or not there or there's not enough. Um, and yeah, and seeing clearly what kind of darkness you need to let go of, right? And there's the Guardian of Wands. You see these uh, wands? It looks like the Two of Wands. So it's focused and it's telling you you've got another, you've got a few paths to choose from. Um, plan right now. The guardian of wands that's the energy that you could feel like is very attractive um has skills and abilities um another five they have five 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 in your reading um five of cups okay so if the guardian of wands is yours it's like risking getting burned in the fire um to go be confident towards your um passion there might be something with this fire and the shaman card that's coming together as being like a sign that fire is definitely part of some something the five of cups um is disappointment and sadness for the things that didn't work but um it's about to me it's about finally separating yourself from those um heavy emotions and focusing it on those two things that you have those are probably aces to you know so focusing on what does work and then here's your high vibe next new chapter with the world it's a completion you come out of disappointment you come you pull out of um any kind of financial or health worry or concern i have charcoal by the way pencil on my um, hands so sorry about that yeah, because it's, it's time for a fresh new start for you. There's something really passionate here and loving and uh, new. <laughs> passionate, exciting, and you're ready for um, a fresh new start for yourself. Ready to get untied, right? Child of Cups or Page of Cups. Hopeful new um, start. Hopeful new beginning. Maybe even a love begins kind of energy. It's a good energy. All right. It got so freaking hot doing your reading, Libra. Lord. Whew, hot in this room. Okay, um, perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes up ahead. Don't give up. I have travel, long distance communication will open up in your life. Um, exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Oh, basket wanted to just pop out there. Recognition or reward for merit. You have basket. Pig, beware of greed. Usually when we're doing pretty well, that will come out too. Ear, you're about to hear some good news. Scissors disappointment in some affair. Camel, preserve, uh, persevere, and you'll overcome problems. So another persevere. Bell, announcement. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. And bow, you are highly thought of. Kind of like this recognition, reward for merit energy. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to pull, to wrap this reading up, I'm going to pull one of these. Um, Archangel Raphael, health oracle, not to replace any kind of health care. 
Do more research. Yeah, well, that's that three of pentacles. Do more research. Thank you for clearly uh, guiding and gen gently leading me to the information I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. I also have sobriety. Thank you for adjusting my cravings and healthy directions so I only desire life-affirming foods and beverages and then organic foods um, thank you for supporting my desire to consume or use natural organic products so we do the best that we can so um, thanks so much if you need a private reading reach out to me in the description box below is my email address hit like and subscribe and come back for your next uh, energy update sending you love and light bye bye